Okay guys, so in this one, we're gonna start with the forgot password. And then if we have time, we will do the Firestore fetch user. So let's go into our auth service where we have all these functions and we're gonna say public func forgot password. So we're gonna need with email for that, which is a string. And then we also want a completion handler so completion colon at escaping, and we're gonna return an error, which is optional. And then we're gonna return void, okay? So this is pretty easy. All we need to say is auth.auth.send password reset. And Firebase is gonna handle that. So we're gonna say send password reset with email. We're just gonna pass in the email, and it's gonna pass us an error. So literally all we need to do is say completion and we're gonna pass in that error. So isn't that cool? Since we're returning an optional error and Firebase gives us an optional error, all we have to do is say completion and then boom, easy like that. And looking back at it, like in the sign in method, we could also do that here. So we don't even need this else block. We can just pass this error but we'll leave it so we don't break anything because we know it's working the other way. So we need to go into our forgot password controller and I'm just gonna log out in my app here so I can take a look at it. So in our forgot password controller, we need to go down to our did tap forgot password and we have this guard let email. So we're gonna delete this guard statement we made before. And we're gonna say let email equals self dot email field dot text question mark question mark double quote double quote then we're going to say if not validator dot is email is valid email for email we are going to alert manager dot show invalid email alert on self and then return so we're going to say auth service dot shared dot forgot password with email. So we're gonna pass that email in there. We're gonna say completion error. So we're gonna say weak self error in, and then we're gonna do the guard let self equal self else return. So then we're gonna say if let error equals error, alert manager dot show error sending password reset on self with our error. And then under that, we're gonna say return. So what that is gonna do, if Firebase gives us an error, then it's gonna send that, we're gonna show that error. So down below that, if there's no error, it should have sent. So we're gonna say alert manager dot show password reset sent on self. Now, I don't really like that email I used earlier. That's not actually my email, and I don't really want to be sending emails to random emails. I also don't really want to show my email. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try off camera and let you know if it works, but it should. Okay, so I tested it out and I just changed my email with inspect element here. So this is what the screen will look like. It'll email you a link and then you can Type in a new password and it will work. So that's what it looks like. So if we continue on, I am going to log in to one of the accounts and we're going to now fetch in our Firestore, if you remember, in the auth service. Right here, we set the user. So we set a user and I will show you. Looks like that. So we have the user ID right here as the default name. And then we have the email and the username saved in there. So we're gonna grab these values and display them right here next. So we're gonna go into our auth service and at the very bottom, we're gonna say public func fetch user completion colon at escaping and we're going to return two values we're going to return an optional user which we need to create then an optional error and then returning to void 
And there we go. Now we are going to go into our models. We're going to create another model. We're going to call it user. It's going to be a struct user. We're going to have let username string. We're going to have let email string. We're going to have let user UID string. Okay, so once we have our struct with a username, email, and user ID, we're going to go back into our home controller. And in the view did load, we're going to say auth service dot shared dot fetch user with a completion user and error. And we're also going to make a weak self. Then we're going to go guard let self equal self else return. And then we are going to say if let error equals error, we're going to say alert manager dot show fetching user error on self with error. And then below that we're going to return. And then we're going to say if let user equals user self dot label dot text equals two string interpolations. And between those, we're going to do a backslash n. And then we're going to, in the first string interpolation, we're going to say user dot username. And then the second one, we're going to say user dot email. So back in our auth service, and what we're going to say is let db equals, and my original code for this, I accidentally git did some weird stuff and it deleted. So hopefully this is all, I think this is the same, but hopefully I'm not missing anything else besides this. So let db equals firestore dot firestore. But, but one thing I will say is if there's anything missing in my code base, um, be sure to let me know in the description so I can update it and add something. I think I've got everything, but I'm not completely sure. So if there's anything wrong, just let me know. We're gonna say db dot collection users. So let me pull up Firestore. We have in our Firestore, we have the database and then we have a collection called users right here. And then the document in the users is going to be the user UID. And then we have our values here. So how we get the user.uid, um, we say guard let user UID equals, and we're going to say auth dot auth dot current user dot uid else return so db dot collection and then i'm going to line break and do dot document with this document path and i'm going to put in the user uid and then i'm going to say get document with the completion so if i click enter on that we'll get the snapshot the document snapshot and we're going to get an error. So if let error equals error, we're going to do a completion with a nil user and an error, and then we're going to return. If not below that, we're going to do if let snapshot equals snapshot. Okay, that's the first thing. And then I'm going to line break these blocks. So we're going to do a comma behind snapshot and we're going to say let snapshot data equals snapshot dot data comma and we're going to say let username equals snapshot data and this is a dictionary so it's a key value pair. So what we want to get is the username field this right here. We're going to save it as string and then we're basically going to do the same thing so i'm going to cut, cut and paste that for the email so let email equals snapshot data uh email and then we can get rid of this comma in these line breaks and we should have our username and our email so we're going to say let user equals user and in our constructor we're going to pass in the username we're going to pass in the email and we're going to pass in the user uid then all we have to do is do a completion with that user and nil for the error. Okay, 
So now when we run this, it will go to the home controller and it'll say loading. And then once it fetches this data, it'll show it. So I think that's it. As I said, I lost my code, so I'm not 100% sure, but all the features seem to be working. Got sign up, we've got forgot password, we've got register. So there may be some things missing, but I think that's it. But I think this is a good project. I had fun with this. Um, the Node.js one is quite a bit more complicated, especially if you're actually uh, creating the Node stuff. I have the code there. Luckily, I didn't lose this because that would be very annoying. But so I want to thank you guys very much for doing this uh, series, course, whatever you want to call it. If you have any suggestions for how I can improve them in the future, please let me know. I would love some constructive criticism. Maybe if I explain things too much, if I explain things too little, if things I say don't really make sense, it would really help if you guys gave me some feedback. If you like the series, please click like. And if you want more series like this in the future, please press subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I would also really appreciate a, some comments about what you want to learn and what courses you would like me to do in the future. But besides that, if you take a look in the description, I have my apps down there. I have a fitness tracker and a task tracker. Both of them are completely free. If you want to get organized, you can use the task tracker. And if you work out and you want to log your workouts, you don't already have an app for that, then you can try out that. It's called Flexed and to do pad, flex.app, to do pad.app. And I just realized I need to resubmit the Flexed app. So if you're watching this within the upload date, within like a week, then that's going to be down for now. I need to resubmit it to the App Store. It was on test flight before. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And thank you very much. Goodbye.